Hi, I'm Warren Buckleyer, and today I'm looking at Park Math, a new app from Duck Duck Moose. You ready, Greg? Yes. Let's have a closer look. Bring the camera right over this. Let's zoom in on it and get a close look at this new app and find out Welcome to Park if it's any good. By gosh, it's upside down. That looks a little better, right? All right, first thing you notice is it's a iPhone or iPod Touch app, so it's a small screen. We're looking at it on an iPad. There is an iPad version that's planned. And another important thing to notice is I've got uh, two levels here. Level one is for preschool, and level two is for kindergarten. So I'm going to start with level one. And like other Duck Duck Moose menus, there's a lot of things I can explore, a lot of ways I can accidentally succeed. And you don't want your kids to touch that icon because it is will take them to their website. So they they figure that soon enough. Touching the bear takes you around this playground or this park. Actually, that's what it's called, Math Park. And I can do things like swing. One, two, three. And if I just want to get him started, four, I can just watch him. Five. Six. All right. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now in the kindergarten setting, this will go up higher than 20, but in this version it goes to 20. Let's have a look at some other stuff. This is uh, basic math. I, what I like about this is it has both the equation and it also has the, um, the, the sets. I can read it if I want. There's a lot of ways to figure this out or just play. So even like a toddler can just fool around with this. And let's try some wrong answers. So the question is, if four ducks climb up, how many will be at the top? Well, the answer is clearly uh, five, right? One plus four is five. I'll try six. Try again. Now I'll try four. Try again. So. One, two, three, four, five. And that would be five is the correct answer. All right, now you might notice that that cello music is just always going. You can also touch the kite and jump to any one of these problems, toggle the music off. Isn't that peaceful? So, uh, whether or not you like it or not, uh, that is an option. If one duck climbs up, it also makes the directions easier to hear. Let's go have a look at another activity. This is one of my favorites, just from a math education perspective. Why? Because it has quantities, and I can drive it all with my finger, and I can just fool around with a really powerful idea that's more than or less than. And you should never underestimate the power of this idea. And it just knows Yay! when I get it right. That's some good, that is some good stuff. All right, let's have a look at another one, shall we? Now if one apple falls down, how many will remain on the tree? I can find one, out. And there's two left. Two. All right. Way to go. And now... Sort the dogs from small to large. All right, now this is a classic sorting Drag problem. Drag to move them on the bench. You see this all the time. Uh, so, of course, the option is the, Super the small job. to large. It just knows I get it right. Sort the numbers <laughs> from small to large. Now, what a preschooler will commonly do with this kind of a problem is they'll do the, quote, wrong answer. They'll put the large thing first because they just aren't able to separate Good between work. the variables. This program rewards that either way. It lets children solve it the way that's developmentally appropriate for them. I give that a, the designers a lot of credit for this. Uh, they clearly uh, are tuned in to way, the way children think. So, for example... It says, sort the dogs from small to large. Obviously, preschooler can't read that. So, what if they go from small to large? Small to large, right? Super! So, either way you want to do it. Multiple ways. This would, of course, be the correct way. Fantastic! Nice work. What else do we have in this program? Try Here, again! Man. Like how the Oops. wrong answers just fall right out. Excellent. And I'm quickly rewarded by the right answer, and so we're gonna definitely want to go with his Good one. work. And at any point, I can fool around with that if I want. Which really, I don't think it does anything. Feed the hippo. I think we're getting toward one, the end. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can Yay. control the pace of this. Feed the hippo. Watch this. Seven watermelons. Wait, get out of there. So one, one two, two, three, three four, four, five, five six. six. Eight. Those little seven. Little Pick, get out of there, pesky thing. Um, Feed the hip hop. Very one, clever two, three, four. technique. Super job. For keeping children interested. Feed the hip hop. I mean, some kids are going to sit there and just want to keep that ant away. So we can say really that this app does have some bugs, but it's a good kind of bug. It's the kind of bug that keeps you interested and on the ball. One. So I need eight. Two. Now you're going to say, as a good tester, what happens if I get the wrong answer? It just falls back. Best kind of feedback you can get. Three, four, five, six, seven. Get out of there. Eight. All right? Good work. I think we got them all, Greg. All right, so there you have it. Uh, Park Math by Duck, Duck Moose. It's the sixth app from Duck, Duck Moose, and clearly they've been doing their homework. It's nice to see a uh, collection of math games where children can accidentally discover so many powerful ideas in one package. And for $1.99, this is certainly worth a download. I'm Warren Buckleitner. We'll see you next time.